Hello friends! So I'm going to be just taking you guys along with me for a couple days while I am trying to get back into the back to school rhythm as a working mom of three, you know, keeping up with all of the things and trying to find balance. We have kind of a busy weekend ahead, so trying to set myself up for success and come along as I take a little walk to start this weekend off right. Making a super easy recipe of some protein balls. We're going to do them with oatmeal, some chia seeds, peanut butter, honey, chocolate chips, and some whey protein. All right, so we got our bowl. I just eyeball it. <laughs> I don't really do anything but just eyeball it. I'm gonna add in my oats first. Honestly, I'm gonna probably use most of these. I'll just stop there. I'm gonna add in my chia seeds again. I don't measure it, I just kind of pour it in. I'm gonna do some of my raw and filtered honey. Again, I'll add as I need to. Sorry if this is crooked. You guys are sitting on a loaf of bread right now. All right, then I'm gonna do, you could do however many scoops you want. I only do one scoop for these because my kids don't like to taste, taste those. So I'm gonna add some serious chocolate mini chocolate chips. I like to do the minis. And then last but certainly not least is the peanut butter. No certain peanut butter. Um, use whatever the heck you got. This is the kind I had. It was BOGO. I'm trying to use up all of it. It's going to stir it up until it all incorporates. You may have to add more honey. You may have to add more peanut butter, but that's the beauty of it. Then you just roll these up into balls. Um, you could, even if you're, you're in a time crunch, just put this whole bowl into the fridge, let it harden, and then, you know, put it in a thing to harden, make bars, make balls, whatever the heck you want. Really yum. So I did run out of time, so I ended up putting them in a glass container to put them in the fridge for bars. Then I took a little early lunch break and went over to my friend's shop and went to get some of my friend's birthday presents and get myself a couple little goodies and I'll share the little haul right now. All right, so I left the house for a little bit to go and do some gift finding. I didn't share earlier, but I had pruned this plant it was getting crazy. You probably saw it in some of my videos where it was like crawling up and it was starting to die and get really dry at the root. So I started taking all of it off and I've started to propagate, as you can see, into this little container. So hoping to have a bunch more little plants that I can put into soil. They're doing really well, so that's good. Um, but anyways, so I did that earlier, did some work, tidied up the house. I've got laundry to fold, but I popped out before it started storming. It's about to storm. And I went and got some presents and some little things. So I'll start with the haul from my friend's store. My friend owns a bookstore and plant shop. And so I'll share what I got there. I got this little plant. Um, and then I got, I already had gotten a planter for one of my friends for her present. So I have this little plant and then I got this, which is so cute. I actually got that for myself. And then I got the Pura. We have the Pura. I love it. And I love to support her and buy mine from her instead of online. And then my son wanted a new SSYRA book because he's read already four. So this will be his fifth. 
and he needed a new one. Well, both my sons do. And I knew that my younger son, Archie, he's gonna love this one because it's more of like a graphic novel. This is a piece of art that I got for my friend for her birthday. And then she gifted my friend a beautiful plant and planter and a card. So I will gift that to her tomorrow when we have her little birthday brunch. Then I went to Belle's outlet. Well, now it's just Belle's, but I got, I really wanted to get like a pumpkin smell. It smells so yummy. And so I got that. And then I got this. I just could not not get this. I love it. It's a little ghost. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna put those up just yet, but I'm gonna put it in my fall things. I also got myself a little rug for at my kitchen. The red ones that I had, I liked, but I felt like I just wanted to change. So I got this one and it has like a gripping on the bottom. So I'm excited about that. And I'm gonna move the red ones into the bathroom because I think they'll fit nicer in there. All right, for lunch today, we're having tzatziki. It's got dill, yogurt, cucumbers, and lemon in it. Um, then we have a spinach and beet with feta, some olive oil, some cucumbers, and then spanakopita. So I get these from Costco and I just dip them in the tzatziki. And then I'm having some cucumber water in my big old dumb cup. Okay, yum. So today's Thursday and I'm kind of trying to like prepare myself for a crazy weekend because the boys are going to be camping um, Saturday and then they're going to like a race and then they're gonna camp Saturday night. So Polly and I will be home um, we're not gonna have a crazy day. We're just gonna relax, hang out. And then we may have a little friend that comes along and may spend the night, not sure. Ooh, gotta see about that. Don't mind the air fryer noise in the background. I'm trying to air fry the rest of the Spanakopita so I can put it in the fridge so I can eat on it for lunch this week. I do a lot of that where I like bulk make something and then I kind of eat on it for a day or two. Any who's it, this video is kind of just an influx of random happenings. I like to share every once in a while just kind of how I get into a rhythm with our routines. You know, I think that it's so important to find a routine in each day and it may be different. Um, I know that I have the energy for certain things some days and not others and some weeks and not others. <laughs> so. I wanted to share a couple of the things that are bringing me joy this week in, you know, my home or bringing me back to kind of a peace within me so that I can, you know, really have the energy to be the mom I want to be. I feel like that's been so hard through summer is like, you're so needed that it's like overstimulating for me sometimes. So I didn't have a lot of time where like I recharged and I did have pockets of it, but like with the kids being in a routine of school and all the things like I, the last thing I want is for when they get home from school to be just depleted. So I'm trying to find that rhythm. I'm trying to find it again. I feel like I got really good at it last year and now I'm trying to get back into it, you know, doing my walks, going and working out or, you know, just taking those pockets of time that are for me, that I'm like choosing to do the things that are bringing me joy. So today um, I chose to go and visit with my friend and get a couple presents and some fun things for fall because I'm looking forward to that season. I did a walk, which felt glorious. Any who's it's. I wanted to share just kind of how I'm getting my rhythm uh, now that the kids are back in school and that way I can really enjoy our evenings together. After lunch, I put together this cute little planter that I had gotten with the plant from my friend's shop. And I also found a little home for my new book planter. I did later take off that planter sticker. I completely missed that beforehand. All right, then it was time to start dinner. Isn't that every mom's life? 
Um, so I was going to cook up the Aldi meatballs I shared in my haul from the last video. They were actually super yummy. So if you're ever in a pinch, great quick meal. Added some onions and garlic and marinara and yeah. All right, most of this has already happened so I'm fine to show it. I got these from Amazon and I just have them on this side of our fridge and I love them. They are great and they come with these little markers. So each kid has a color, me and Sean's color is orange and then the family color is white and it's great. I mean, I'm not going to show a whole thing because I don't want to give away what we're up to. <laughs> and then the things to do and then this part has, you know, what we're going to eat this week and then things that I need to buy, which I bought some of those things today so I can mark those off. Super cool. I love the way that they look and it looks nice like when you walk in from where we park. You know, it's like perfect. I also get asked about these sometimes. I use these. These are just like, they came in the locker section at Target years ago and I just love them and we just stick our keys on them. Nothing crazy. All right. For dinner, we are having pasta, kale with garlic, and then some meat the bowls. All right, and then after dinner, I made the lunches for two of the kids. One kid eats school lunch, he prefers it. And then the boys needed to make their rain gutter regattas for Cub Scouts. So we got to work on that because literally it was the next evening that they were gonna be racing them. So we got those put together and painted so that they would be ready for 24 hours later. So now it is Friday and we are having a little birthday brunch for my friends and then that evening we had our first pack meeting and Nash got to present the flags for the color guard and yeah it was so cute and then we had the rain gutter regatta and it was super fun and yeah great Friday night. Good morning. 
morning. I just got the kids off to school. Thought I just would kind of wrap up this video because it's been a week of random happenings. I just wanted to share kind of a look, a little blurb into our week. Certain days I filmed me doing some self-care things and certain days I filmed me making dinner. And I just think all of it's important. You know, I think finding the hum and finding that in your day and in your life is so important. Finding little pockets of things that bring you joy to bring, you know, energy that's good into your life. I think that's just so, so important. And one thing that I have been doing has been to sit here in my favorite chair um, that I thrifted. <laughs> my friend, I bought this for my friend. And then I bought this little candle warming lamp and I'm obsessed with it. And it just gives the nicest little cozy lighting. And I just love to listen to the birds and just sit here and drink my coffee in the mornings after I get the kids off to school. And then sometimes I go for a little walk and sometimes I go to the gym, but I, I feel like I'm starting to get back into those routines that make me feel so much better. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me below the things that you're doing to kind of keep a routine in your home, but also keep your sanity. As a mom, just in itself, there are so many things that pull you in and that you need to take ownership of and do, do, do. And as a wife, as a working mom, stay at home mom, whatever your your journey is through motherhood, it all has its things and it's important to find routine and balance and find things and pockets of, of joy and things that um, I guess bring you joy to kind of make it all come together. You know, don't always get so caught up in the to-do to forget how to do the life that you want, you know? All right. See you next time. Love your faces. Mm -hmm.